Uh, so welcome to the uh, contest and events closing ceremonies. I'm Grifter. Uh, this is Panadero over here. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're the new leads for uh, for CNE. It's actually this year we're over contests, events, villages, parties, and the demo labs. So not a lot, just like a couple things. Um, yeah, we're we're kind of lazy. Thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> Um, so thank you guys for putting up with us, uh, all you organizers, while we figured out how to get things right this year. New venue, uh, new leads. Um, but yeah, let's roll. We don't have a, a ton of time. So I'm just going to go through the deck and whenever... Oh! Magic. Well, that's, it's still... It's, it's, oh, we're almost there. It's okay. They can lower that. What? Is that? I'm not worried about it. Before we didn't have a slide. This is Yay! 100 times better. All right. Woo! So first off, we just want to say thank you to these fine folks over here, our contest and events goons. So please give them a round of applause. Uh, I want to say that you guys saw us like running around like crazy or whatever, but we were just sitting on the couches over there. So, couches were nice this year, right? Couches, who knew? Um, all right. So, uh, this year, again, uh, thanks to all of the organizers and the contestants. Uh, huge, huge round of applause for those guys. Seriously, you have no idea how early these guys start planning. We do now. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's like February, and they're like, all right, let's roll. Like, I'm like, what? They're like, sorry, we're late. We usually we start in January. And they're like, please stop. Like, is this what this is going to be like? So 29 contests, 16 events, 12 villages, um, you know, multiple parties and all the other uh, stuff. And we had this year new, if you guys were here on Saturday, these tables out here were the demo labs. There were people showing off tools. Um, one, of the, one of the things we were doing there was uh, we get a lot of submissions to the CFP, uh, sub, like the submission process, and the review board goes through things, and we're like, oh, like that sounds really cool, but I don't know if it's an hour-long talk like on a stage in a, in a giant room. And so, but we want to make sure that content gets out there. So we put them out and let people come up and see what they were doing and talk to them. So um, it seemed like people liked it, so we'll be bringing it back next year. Um, let's roll straight into it. Uh, this is kind of in um, alphabetical order, and then I'll say that and immediately go to something with the letter D. Um, but uh, organizers, please keep this like brief because we got to roll. Um, so, uh, DEFCON bots. <laughs> Yeah, and if, so it's going to be, uh, let's, like I said, kind of alphabetical order. So beard and mustache, get ready to roll. And if you want to start kind of getting ready as you see the letters approaching where your contest is going to be at, that would be awesome. Go ahead. Okay, DEF CON BOTS is, uh, <laughs> DEF CON BOTS is uh, autonomous robots that shoot lasers at moving targets. It's really hard to do, and these guys build robots to do that, and all the software, the hardware. This year they had to encode messages in their lasers that they're shooting at the targets. And actually one of the teams went from the qualifier third place to second place in the finals by exploiting a security hole in the laser protocol. That's so, uh, these are first, second, third, team monkey business, Team Pew Pew Monkey Business slaughtered everyone, hit like almost 45 targets uh, in 90 seconds in the qualifiers. And uh, we have a special award this year. We have the DEF CON BOTS really dark, dark gray badge addendum that goes on the badge. So that goes to first place. Thanks. What's that? I, I almost killed myself. Where's my beard and mustache at? Anyone? 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 Jack? 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 Those people had beards. And cool. <laughs> Beverage cooling. He's coming. Yeah. So beer chilling was a thing again this year. Ten years. Um, yeah. I took it over. Well. We uh, code it this year. I think we're going to continue doing that. 
We had uh, two categories, the unlimited and the hack together, which ended up being uh, really quite effective. Our biggest challenge this year was uh, we were through a hole in the wall and nobody really was like, hey, there's this guy with a cardboard sign saying free beer. People were like, that's not real. <laughs> totally was. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so this year we had Team Hebrew, they won the Unlimited Challenge with a truly ghetto fantastic device, it was amazing. And then um, Array of Not won the Hack Together. Guy found like a bunch of junk lying around the uh, hotel and built something. It was amazing. So a round of applause to them and I would like to thank these two guys for putting up with our super late submission. We didn't start in January, <laughs> but they still got us out there. So thanks a lot guys. <laughs> Black bag. Black bag. Go, Deviant, go. Hey, hey. So, yeah, Black Bag, for those of you who don't know, is a sort of lock picking and penetration game. You gotta break into a virtual office. You gotta pick a bunch of locks while you're in there. There's getting data, there's a lot of dick pics. It's, you know, it's my kind of contest. And this is the last year I'm ever running it because there's not enough throughput. DEF CON's so big, you can only run so many teams, and we're gonna do something better and bigger and faster. But this year, Sexlut from Salt Lake City, Utah, topped it out. Yellow 37 and Krav did great, just, just barely getting ahead of surprise butt plugs. But a lot of these people, <laughs> and I encourage you, if any of you are contest organizers, do this shit. For our scoring, we give a 10% point bump off the top of the score for anyone who participates in charity stuff. So if you bomb in and you're like, hey, I just got a mohawk or I just gave blood, like bang, score, score, like it's going up. But I let people do that until the end of the contest. So there's a whole team that's like watching their score and then they jump to second and then they run over and all give blood and they come back with bandages. They're like, boom, give us bonuses. So yeah, Sex Slut crushed it because they all gave blood. Three, two guys got mohawks. They did like be the match and fusion between the contests and events is awesome. So try to do that and come to the DEF CON shoot next year because we blow shit up in the desert. Thank you. All right, next up, coin droids. And Schemaverse. Next slide, next slide. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, so Coin Droids is a robot battle game, um, but played entirely through DefCoin. Um, so you battle each other by sending transactions at each other, trying to steal each other's money, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this year, oh, I have notes. We had 240 players, which was ridiculous. Um, 88,000 attacks took place with a lot of DefCoin. Um, we had two different battles. One was King of the Hill, and that was won by Freak. Um, that got a little intense for a couple people. And the other battle, which was the boss battle, I agree, uh, the best thing to do with our contest is to kind of integrate with a bunch of them. So we had bosses all over the place, um, and someone managed to find three of them, and that was Moondoggy. Um, that was pretty much it. Coindroids.com runs all year round, though, so you can still keep playing. Schemaverse is a space battle game uh, written inside a Postgres database. So select star for my ships, insert into my ships, drop bobby tables, etc. It's all there. Um, in this this year, we had 71 trillion tuples returned for those database nerds in the room. Um, that's 2.5 million actions, and uh, no one hacked it this year, so that was kind of boring. Thanks, guys. But um, our prize this year was the Schemaverse Cup which was actually created by a core developer of Postgres for this competition. So I'd like to welcome Sysfix quickly, run on stage, for being the champion this year. <laughs> no. All right, uh, correct me if you can, in here, in here, yes, boom, oh you're right there. Yeah, it's literally sitting right there. Uh, crack me if you can is the password cracking contest. It's our sixth year. Uh, uh, so this year, uh, Team Hashcat pretty much destroyed all the other pro teams. It's the first time we've had a back-to-back -back winner, so they're, they were out for blood and they did it. Uh, they get $600 assuming they do a write-up uh, describing everything they did and release updates to all their tools, and we require all the pro teams to do that in order to get paid. So in a week or two, there will be new betas of John the Ripper and Hashcat and everything that's out there for everybody. Right. 
Uh, just real quick, the, the big trick this year was it's all UTF-8, so none of it was in English. It was Japanese, it was Mandarin, it was all these other things, and so most of the updates is going to be updated for UTF support in uh, the majority of the tools, and that's it. Thank you. Doc, I see you. There you go. <laughs> Alphabetical order, guys. You, you ready? You got your game face on? <laughs> Alphabetical order. Darknet Project is an interactive puzzle uh, contest based on Daniel Suarez's book, Demon. We put up puzzles whoops, run by an interactive Jabberbot across DEF CON to help people learn how to do things in other villages, other contests. We integrated with coin droids to help people get over there. You can learn to solder, learn to crack um, Wi-Fi, uh, learn how to use GPG and Tor. We had three winners this year. Um, Silk was our first place winner. Uh, got a tremendous number of points. He also won last year. Uh, Nolan was our second place winner. And uh, Tilted Kuipers, I think that's the correct pronunciation. Awesome, it was our third place winner and we've got prizes for you all, so see me afterwards. Thank you very much. So Drunk Hacker History was a new competition this year. And it was a storytelling competition with a twist. We prepared the eight contestants with five liters of vodka, a liter of bourbon, and a half a liter of rum. And they got on stage and got five minutes to tell, us, to tell a story. And so what ended up on, what was on paper was sounded like a really good idea, ended up being a shit show of epic proportions. <laughs> so we have some prizes. Um, Jack Daniel, um, we actually don't have his prize because one of the contestants stole it. Um, and then Pyro, if you're here, we have a flask for you. And then the first place winner was Katie. And here's, Katie. here's Katie's prize. EFF badge hacking, anybody? 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 Is that? Here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. We're all judging your stride. Like, he could be a lot more effective if you just shorten that up a little. <laughs> Take that advice uh, to heart. Uh, thanks. This is the first year we did the uh, badge hacking pageant. Um, thanks to judges Joe Grand, Lost, and Zaz. Uh, we saw lots of uh, participation uh, for a first year thing. Uh, so the digital winner uh, was a Lothar with a DC-22 badge. Uh, he made a quadricopter out of it. Uh, he did two flights. The first flight it came back around and clipped him in the calf. Uh, saw a lot of, lot of, actually a surprising amount of blood there, so great thing that he won that. Um, for the analog winner, it was Rainbow Unicorn's Bite with a knit koozie around uh, this year's human badge. Uh, it kind of looked like a tire. It was pretty sick. And for the wildcard badge was Mike and Mikey with uh, amazingly detailed counterfeit Uber badges, which uh, they used to get into DEF CON uh, this year, I think. So thanks, everyone. We'll be back, and better get next year. Hacker Jeopardy! Yeah! At the end, you can lead us in a cheer, but Hacker Jeopardy, the oldest contest at DEF CON, 21 years running. This year is won by Winjob, their third consecutive victory, beating Leap Meat, Affin Mord, and We Fucked It Up, who actually went all or nothing and bellowed out in the finals in the middle of the game. That wasn't too bright. Jeff Moss, guest speaker, Win Schwarto came on and played, well, Win Schwarto as a contestant. And so it did really well. My understanding is we had a couple firsts. We went through our first streaker, male, unfortunately, so maybe next year we'll do better, uh, for, at least for the guys. Ladies, I hope you enjoyed the show. 140 beers, so we're definitely doing our best we can to drive up the cost of DEF CON. And so the ref will now lead us in a prayer. Don't fuck it up! Don't fuck it up! Don't fuck it up! Don't fuck it up! Until next year! Amen. We still got a couple of shirts left. Come see me afterwards if you want a Hacker Jeopardy shirt. Thank you. Robocalls. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There they are. Now your stride's being judged. 
<laughs> okay, so amazingly, the FTC last year start, um, did a robocall uh, honeypot building contest, uh, and more amazingly, this year they decided to come back. Um, I was one of the judges. Uh, everybody hates robocalls. It's like the m safest thing in the world to be against, and if you tell people you're um, working on a contest against robocalls, everybody says, yeah, that's great, so this was a lot of fun. Um, we had uh, two finalists. Uh, uh, this year competing for uh, these incredibly valuable trophies um, that, uh, uh, that will be very easy to fit into an overhead bin. Um, <laughs> our uh, best, in, and also if they're declared official winners uh, through the federal bureaucracy, substantial cash prizes. So our best in show was Team RoboKiller, which did an amazing amount of work. Are they here? And our first, our first runner-up uh, was Hemat Sanger. Uh, you're here. Come on up and, and claim your very easy to fit in an overhead bin trophy. So. If you didn't hear that, he said that's next year's badges. So. Intel CTF. Blake. Blake. You're dead to us. Network forensics. So we come from the uh, small town of Missoula, Montana every year and we put on the Network Forensics Puzzle Contest. Um, what it is, it's a bunch of PCAPs that we put together showing different things uh, through the networks with the TCP IP protocol. Uh, it went all the way until very late slash early in the morning, I guess, yesterday. So we have Threat Level Pancakes that came in first, they won a Fitbit Surge. Uh, second place was just one man, Tom Poole, wherever he is, he's the best. And then uh, third is Blue Squirrel, who, and they finished um, a couple hours after Tom Poole, so congratulations, you guys are awesome. And anything from DEF CON for them? No? Put us on the spot. Yeah, I, I did. Maybe? Fine. <laughs> Open CTF, where you at? Oh, look, there's Pyro. We were looking for you before. No, no, no. Oh. Going to oh, they're going to Maine? All right. No, they're going to Maine. Tamper evident. We are, we are powering through. All right. Also dead to us. These guys are gone, right? Oh, no, the secure ninja cyber range. Yeah, you can go through them and have them come up like a prize. Cool, cool. Apparently there are prizes. So, uh, so for a secure ninja cyber range, Maximus Blackborn came in first with, I'm not, what is that, Zensen He? Oh. And Gabriel Lawrence, we have prizes up here for you guys. They had to take off. So if you are in here, head on up. No? We're keeping this shit. <laughs> Come find me later for smoothies. <laughs> like, I'm not shitting you. Look, it's a I, ninja I, thing. <laughs> <laughs> Come find us in the DC801 penthouse. Um, mm -hmm. Warlock Games. Oh, actually, they're, go they're main stage as well, right? Let's see. All right, so now we'll get into um, just some of the cool stuff. So, uh, Be the Match had 126 signups this year, which is awesome. Wow. Um, I love that that's still going. Are you, is somebody here from that? Do you know? Want to say anything? Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah, there were 20,000 people here and 126 signed up. Yeah, I guess that's, whoops. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so blood code, 84 blood to donations made this year. Um, so thanks to uh, Deviant for probably getting half of those. <laughs> uh, yeah, it might be all of them. 
man, those guys look wrecked in there too. Like somebody came over and they were like, holy shit. Like, is that like the medical area? Like people are just <laughs> freaking passing out at DEF CON. Like, I was like, no, man, they're like, they're, get, they're donating blood. They're like, oh, I thought that was like where you went when you got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, ham radio exams. You hear? Awesome. Good. You guys can talk about it. So DC408 took their hand at running ham radio exams for the first time this year. Thank you to all our volunteers, everyone who came out and took a test, gave a shot. Not everybody passed, but it's great to see the enthusiasm. Hope you study and try again somewhere else. Um, there are dice that we gave away to everyone who passed. If you didn't get yours, or maybe if you're just a ham and you can come find me, you can have one. So as you can see, we had 124 exams taken this year. 60 though, 65 of those were the technician class, which is your basic entry level. Gets you started in it. You can start transmitting as soon as your name and call sign show up in the FCC database. There were 11 people who upgraded from technician up to the general class. Nine people who went up to their amateur extra, which is the highest class that you can achieve. We also had a couple people who Let's see, the actual number for people who tried to do two tests at once was uh, 42. Uh, one person attempted to do all three, however, they fell short on the last test, but they will be back. And that's the stats I have. Thank you all. If you're interested in your ham radio license, we'll have information posted on the forums, as well as being back next year. Thank you. Mohawks. There she is. Hey, I'll just do it for you since you accepted my passport. <laughs> you got it. Give me my badge back. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ed. That's Lexi. We do this whole Mohawk Con thing, Woo! shaving heads. <laughs> I, see, I see a good amount of, of Mohawks out there, but of course, never enough. This year, let's see. Uh, we have updated numbers. We have new numbers. Let me pull those up. Because uh, uh, when I sent in the information at noon, like I was supposed to, um, we were still cutting heads and getting like huge amounts of uh, more, even more donations. So, cutting heads. Cutting heads. Yes. yes. <laughs> Haven't you seen all the blood running around? You know the medical bay? Okay. All right. Yeah. Final total for the EFF was. $2,575. For Hackers for Charity, $1,049. Uh, the Den Hack box, donation box, raised $67 just printing out uh, stickers. That was only, it was only here for like a day and a half and it got $67. And we shaved a total of 153 heads. And so this year, grand total raised $3,691 for charity. Thank you. All right. IoT Village. There you go. Well, we didn't do anything nice for charity, so that sucks for us, but good for them. Uh, yep, yeah, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> uh, this is the first year of the Internet of Things Village, and as you can see... First year! Come on! Uh, <laughs> we had, uh, in the village, two contests based off our So Hopelessly Broken Challenge. The zero-day track, we found 25 new vulnerabilities and just learned that our smart fridge was man-in-the-middle their email that just happened, so don't get a smart fridge. Um, and we will be going over the scoring and stuff, so if you participated in that track, we're gonna reach out to you via email and get you your prizes. Our capture the flag contest, we have team first place was Froggy Style, second was Ad Hoc. Froggy Style, where are you? And uh, third place is the man of one wolf, or something that I can't see down there because I'm short. One man wolf. <laughs> we are going to be given over uh, $5,000 in cash prizes, so we'll be in touch with the winners. Thanks for having us this year, guys. It was a lot of fun. Wi-Fi Village. It's 
good to be here. I'm going to waste as much time as possible. So Wireless Village this year, we had a whole bunch of contest events, but we mostly rebuilt the entire Capture the Flag game. We built an entire fake town, including a nuclear power plant, uh, hospital transmitting, uh, broken pox sag, as well as all the standard Wi-Fi stuff. So it was really a lot of fun. Uh, we had 15 teams with 10 tables, so it got a little tight and competitive. Uh, we had uh, three winners of Raging Poners been here. They got almost half the flags on the board. Woo! So they're as awesome as it gets. You guys better try harder next year. We also had Root acquired and last place. Last place did quite a bit better than last place as it was, but uh, good for them. Uh, we gave away about $5,000 in high-end radio gear to the winners, so I want to thank... Um, Black Phone Guys, Silent Circle, as well as uh, HackRF, Hacker Warehouse, Nuon for, for donating so much really expensive gear, and No Starch Press and Hack5 for giving away a whole bunch of gear for us. Uh, I'd also like to say that uh, this has been, I don't even know how many years of the Wireless Village, but uh, our, our fearless leader, our, our father, our, our grandfather, Doc Ahuna, has been <laughs> working on this village since uh, DEF CON 15, and he's been running the village since um, three years ago, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, five years ago. He's been running the village for five years. I'm not even old enough to stand here. But somehow he has decided that uh, the rest of us losers can probably hack it on our own. And he, he told us after all this time he's going to retire and make us do all the work. So a big round of applause for the man who's been running this forever. Thanks, everybody. And I am leaving it in some very young and capable hands. <laughs> All right, we stomped a mud hole in that. So thanks, everybody. Uh, again, the, uh, the main closing ceremonies will take place over on the Paris side of the house. So if you're interested, head on over that way. Uh, so thanks, and we'll see you next year. Also, if you're interested in running a contest or event next year, hit us up. You can reach me at grifter at defcon.org. Seriously. We want to see cool shit. Make it happen.